Oh, hello and hello to all of my Sagittarius. Happy Motivational Monday. All right, it's officially the full moon. If you are watching this on uh, Monday, it's officially the full moon. So we're in a new phase within this new, this within this cycle, not new cycle, but we're officially in a new phase within this cycle that we're in. All right, let's do it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say, Sagittarius. Let's see what your cards have to say. Happy Motivational Monday to each and every one of you all. Don't forget to protect your energy. Source is trying to tell somebody to close out cycles so that you can make room for an additional stream of income. Income is not just money. It's incoming of information. It's income of information about how to grow your harvest. What can you do? Can you collaborate with some people? You know, how can you connect with other energies that's on your same frequency to both grow yours as well as grow theirs? You know, grow their income, um, their resources. Here we have the Six of Cups. So you do have a, um, a loved one that is saying to you, remove the blindfolds. Like what kind of seeds, do, <laughs> excuse me, what kind of seeds do you want to plant so that you can really, really start growing your um your wealth what what kind of relationships do you want to cultivate that's what source is trying to tell somebody is like really close out some cycles of anything un unhealthy or wounded emotions have compassion towards yourself and have compassion towards other people I think in your last reading, I mentioned something about, you know, like uh, working with people to some degree. Remember, money is deeply rooted in our relationships with other people. Not all rich people are unhappy. <laughs> some people are doing very well for themselves and not every rich person is famous. Some people are doing well for themselves. You don't even you don't even know who they are. They run in brands that you don't even know. You've never seen faces. They're part of boards and 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 teams of people where you never know who started it right unless it's something you know major happening where you have to it's a need to know but the bottom line is those sources saying learn how to plant seeds an additional stream of income is what god is trying to is what god is trying to do for somebody is open your eyes to how to plant seeds and just like if you're growing plants in your house or growing, you're growing a garden, you plant the seeds, it takes time. You have to speak lovingly to that. You're trying, it's harvest time for somebody. And that's what Source is trying to tell somebody is toss out all that bitterness from the past and, and start thinking, how can I, how can I grow my money working with other people? Here we have the five of wands. We have the seven of wands. We have the hangman, the six of cups, the two of cups, and also the star card. So something definitely needs to be closed out. Possibly with an Aquarius because here the star card is Aquarius's card and continue being a bright light in some dark spaces. So that can start with some prayer, you know, for somebody. So it's just saying hang in there, you know, start learning how to use your imagination to dream bigger, you know, but close out some cycles. Get rid of some, some, some low vibrating energy or whatever, something that irritates somebody's demons. You know, this right here, this number five lets me know it's a pivotal point in your life. Take off the blindfolds. See, you find a silver lining in some relationships with some people. Have childlike faith moving forward, right? And also envision yourself closing out cycles peacefully. As peaceful as you possibly can, because you're definitely a bright light in dark spaces. There's a lot of things that you can do. Here we have soulmate energy in your life. You know, some energies like you don't want to get caught up. And I tell people this all the time. You don't want to get caught up on I don't like this zodiac sign. I don't like that sign. And all of this because um, people are not on the same frequency. Source is saying to you, find out what frequency you're on and then get about the going about the business of attracting that frequency. So find out what frequency you're on. Right. And everything else, leave it out in the universe. It's outside of your it's outside of your universe. You're not praying on it and you're not praying for it. It's outside of your universe. You're just sending good energy out into the into the world. So here we have his seven of wands and also the six of cups. Source definitely wants somebody to operate in childlike faith moving forward. And um, six of cups came out twice. So it could be two energies in particular, you know, that somebody may have had some. And you could have had somebody who was on the cusp of uh, Capricorn as well or on the cusp of Pisces um, or... Um, because Neptune is uh, Neptune is a Pisces ruling planet, and then 
we have Saturn, which is Capricorn. It could have been a Capricorn, and it also could have been an Aquarius. That's because Aquarius is also ruled by Capricorn. I mean, excuse me, ruled by Saturn, which is their uh, another ruling planet. They have two ruling planets. So it could have been somebody who was a Capricorn, someone who's an Aquarius, someone who's a Pisces. You know, something could have been overwhelming for somebody or, you know, like cuspers. So source is saying to you, have childlike faith, you know, moving forward. Also, um, sit down and envision yourself like, you know, the, through the power of visualization. How would you like, you know, your relationships with people to proceed moving forward? Because you can always go to God first. I think a lot of times people forget you can go directly to source within, you know, first and see, you know, how can I partner or pair, you know, with some energies. I do see soulmate energy, like I said, coming across somebody's path. If it's all, if you know, already in a relationship with a soulmate. So that's great. Who is the six of swords, the three of coins, the three of coins, the page of coins, the five of swords, the five of cups, and also the ace of cups. All righty. Okay. More water. So, yes, yeah, somebody's definitely been pouring out a lot of emotion about something, Sagittarius. And like I said, you want to replenish with fresh water. So maybe getting near, you, like using this time, this full moon time, and just kind of, um, you know, uh, getting near a body of water. And then finally just saying, you know what, I need, to, I need to put down these swords and stop being in fight mode. Every time I look back and replace something over and over and over again, I get just that angry and frustrated. So it's just like, put the swords down. You got the blindfolds off, put the swords down because the five of swords makes a person look hostile, almost like somebody's playing chess. Like I got to get my lick back. I got to, somebody hurt me from the past. I got to get my lick back. So it's just like, come on, that's cutting into, it actually, it actually with all these poured out emotions and, and whoever somebody's talking to or whatever the case may be, it actually has an adverse effect. So swords is saying, replenish this water those emotions, flush out all that toxicity, hit a, re, re, a reset button. This has been an uphill battle for somebody. Something has definitely been an uphill battle for somebody, but source is saying it's time to educate yourself. It's time to educate yourself on some things so that you can start the process of earning additional streams of income. Everything is perfectly aligned for you. So it's like God has just rolled out the red carpet for somebody. So now it's time to educate yourself and different signs. If that's if that's what I'm seeing right here, somebody like you, you are a light in a bright space. You light up a room and you walk into a room, Sagittarius. And so sources saying, close out some cycles and be patient with yourself and do some research on where the root of all of this comes from, where the root of all of this comes from. So you can get on about the business of earning your coins and your relationships with people. The energy of money, if the if money went away today, that's why I keep trying to tell people, like, if you don't have healthy relationships with people, we're not talking about the people who are committed to misunderstanding you, just in general. If you don't have healthy relationships with people, if, if the, the, the government, wherever you, whatever country you're in, decided that whatever paper and coins you have in the bank today is of zero value, everybody's going to have to go back to those relationships you know, that you have with other people, with other human beings. And so take a walk, take a walk, do some resetting, some recharging out in nature. Take a walk. A lot of people don't see the value in relationships because all they can see is paper and coins money. But somebody got to wake up because paper and coins money is going away. And all we have is relationships with other human beings. So... Here we have morning dew. Somebody is stepping into their light. Somebody is stepping into their light. 26. What stillness does the silence of one's steadiness bring? Now that somebody's out of the wilderness, somebody's definitely stepping into the light. Like I said, sources saying take a walk. So definitely somebody has something, something having to do with getting connected with the earth, like really recharging from the earth, growing from the earth like a plant. Like what plant, what seeds are you planting in yourself? What do you want to grow? Do you want to grow relationships with other human beings here on earth? Because those are the well, I mean, healthy relationships are what true wealth looks like. Healthy, you can call up somebody and, you know, you got some healthy relationships with people. People are learning that the hard way. People are learning that the hard way. So um, let's get ready to close this out. Again, happy Motivational Monday. And I do see you growing 
healthy relationships, that's going to be somebody's harvest time. That's going to be somebody's harvest time. And you all are learning together, bring pulling resources and things together. So emotions are running high. Yeah, because the full moon, right? Emotions are running high. So it's what you do with those emotions that's going to make a difference. All right. Somebody's going to learn how to understand, understand, and overstand situations. Source is just saying, being patient with yourself. Your feelings are valid, whatever those feelings are. But Source is saying there's also some healing in that. There could be some misunderstandings going on. But you are brilliant. Number seven. This is where God is your higher self and your lower self. God is connecting the dots, making make things make sense. That's why it's so important for you to be in receiving mode of information and do some fact checking on your own. So you possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both informational and spiritual planes gives you a greater awareness than most. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, anybody who has backed away from people who could not control their emotions, they knew uh -uh, before I go to that lower, that frequency, that lower frequency, I'd rather back away. Growth, affirmations for growth. I am a work in progress. I release old habits and create new trails. Each day I am getting better. I am in charge of the direction of my life. I am not defined by my past. I grow through my struggles. Roadblocks create opportunities. Because they do. That is what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you all on Midweek Wednesday. Bye.